Bola, welcome. What a wonderful game there. New Zealand into the quarterfinals. Now it's down to the fourth and final quarterfinal of the OFC Under-19 Women's Championship here in the beautiful Suva. Cool evening and two hot teams for now. It will be a big one between uh, Cook Islands and Vanuatu. Absolutely. Cook Islands will, continue their, will look to continue their winning streak, uh, coming in as winners and pull headers there for uh, Pool C. And they have definitely against Vanuatu a more structured side. Time will tell who will come out victors in this last quarterfinal. Lisa, you were in Lotoka, you watched Vanuatu in three uh, group stages. They've got some good uh, players, uh, very good side. They will be up for this one. Well, Vanuatu started off with a brilliant start in their opener against Tonga, went down to New Caledonia, so it's interesting to see how they will do in this quarterfinal match. Celebration of women's football continues in the OFC Under-19 Women's Championship. Three teams already in the quarterfinals, Samoa, Fiji and New Zealand. Who will join them? Will it be Cook Islands or will it be Vanuatu? Can't wait for this one. Bula, welcome to the HFC Bank Stadium, Suva, Fiji Islands, and uh, fourth and final quarterfinal. Well, we've got Samoa, Fiji, and New Zealand already in uh, the top four waiting, and uh, Cook Islands comes up against Vanuatu. Quarterfinal four in the OFC Women's Under-19 Championship. In the commentary box with me, Finau Vuli Vuli and Elizabeth Osifelo. Finau, it will be another big one. We watched New Zealand, how they uh, showed their craft. Now it's the turn for Cook Islands and Vanuatu for their battle. Yes, a great encounter. We expect a great encounter here this evening as the pool headers for Pool C, Cook Islands, take on Vanuatu. Uh, one of the favorite third place coming into the quarterfinals. You know, Cook Islands, they have a good uh, team spirit, good camaraderie. They have strength in defense. Vanuatu, a more structured, skillful and tactical side. Let's see who will take, it, take the battle out tonight. Elizabeth, Vanuatu have uh, some support uh, at the HFC Bank Stadium. Will that prove the difference? Yes, they have their supporters, uh, probably most of them coming from the University of the South Pacific on campus here in Suva. But yes, it's a hello oketa to uh, all the fans, families and supporters of Vanuatu. There you go. Uh, as you can see on this screen, we've got the Vanuatu flags out. And uh, kia orana, it's a pleasure. Uh, being here in commentary. This is the last quarter final. Both teams stand a chance, but one team unfortunately has to leave the competition by the end of the 90 minutes, and one team will proceed to the uh, next uh, stage, which is the semi finals. That's booking the last spot, and both sides will give it their all, playing for their families and, of course, their country. Well, head coach Tuka Tissam of the Cook Islands has uh, named an unchanged side. No changes to the side that defeated the Solomon Islands 1-0. And uh, he's got uh, Te Opuko Tuariki, who scored the goal against the Solomon Islands, and uh, Jan Taia, who uh, delivered that uh, corner. So, uh, wonderful Cook Islands. Let's look at the formation of the Cook Islands, and how this is how they will... Uh, Steam out, 4-4-2, four, four, David and Mapu up front, Taya and Katuke, Strickland the captain. And she'll work hard at the back there with Rauru. And uh, Vanuatu head coach Joella Evok, uh, she has made two changes and she has uh, brought in uh, number five, Rebina Walker. We know her uh, strength on the left and uh, she has also included number 17, Onika Kaltek. These are the only uh, two changes in the side that lost to Samoa in that final uh, Group A encounter at Churchill Park in Lotoka. Vanuatu's uh, formation up front, Aruvua, watch those names, Aruvua, Poida, Caltech and Lop. They work very hard, Walker on uh, the left and Vila Lolokawai on the right. Vuti and Vuri very strong at the back, Kalsrep and Kavik and Bong is the goalkeeper. 4-4-2. Vanuatu will surely look to uh, turn things around. They lost to New Caledonia four goals to one. Cook Islands, no goals uh, scored against the Cook Islands. A scoreless draw against Tahiti. And uh, Victoria Fatiaki, player of the match. 
Thumbs up it is. Will Tukatism and his Cook Island side get into the top four? Or will they go to the hotel and pack their bags and wait for the flight out to Rarotonga next? Well, Vanuatu, Angelina Poida, 16 years of age, Galaxy FC player. She has been the mainstay of this uh, side. Elena Arovoa, what a player she is. She'll be wearing 10. And uh, this Vanuatu side is certainly good under Joella Evok. Well, OFC strategy is about well-being. It's about inspiring the young generation and men and women alike. It is all about the power of football. Well, now we wait for the two teams and soon they'll be out. For one team, this will be the final 90 minutes. This will be the final match out. Vanuatu crowd. Students from uh, university students in Suva. The Cook Islands flag followed by the Vanuatu flag. All Tahiti officials. This is an expected spectacle to grace the hearts and minds. The fourth quarter final in the OFC Under-19 Women's Championship between the Cook Islands and Vanuatu. Undefeated Cooks take the stage. Their prowess unmatched. Their spirits engage. With grace they move like waves upon the shore. Vanuatu are force, fierce and untamed, their spirit undying, their dreams unclaimed. In unity, they have marched out, their hearts alight, to challenge fate and embrace the fight. Let's stand by for the national anthems of the Cook Islands and Vanuatu. A place in the semi-finals at stake. May this clash of titans forever be a testament to the beauty of football's decree in the Oceania region.
great support for Vanuatu in the house. Vanuatu coming through from Group A as one of the two best third place teams. Cook Islands finished top of Group C. All Tahiti officials Kalito Martin, Vahina Teora, Hiro Make, and uh, fourth official Torika Delai, Fiji. Cook Islands, the smallest, one of the smallest nations in the world with only about 18,000 people. And here, this Cook Islands team is wanting to put their side on the world map of football. Vanuatu, on the other hand, 319,000 people west of the Fiji Islands. And this Vanuatu side will be looking to get into the top four, just like uh, the team did in 2019 and also in 2015. Simple as A, B, and C, that they are the match officials and they are in control. So Vanuatu wins the toss and Vanuatu elects to play from the left of your screen, defending the Lovala Bay Road End of HFC Bank Stadium in Suva, Fiji Islands, while the Cook Islands will go on the right. And they will defend the Seaward End of the Queen Elizabeth Road Drive End. Pre-match rituals. Cook Islands, as I said, finished top of Group C. Vanuatu coming through from Group A. One win from three matches for Vanuatu. Cook Islands, their best finish in the this uh, age group championship. Runner-up title in 2010. Vanuatu, their best finish was in 2015. Bronze medal. And in the last championship, they finished in fourth place. We're all set to go in the fourth and final, quarter-final, and we're underway in the OFC Under-19 Women's Championship. It's the Cook Islands against the Vanuatu. Cook Islands playing from the right, and Vanuatu is on the left. Vanuatu. Good to see Joella Evok having that confidence in the Walker and Caltech to bring them back into this uh, game after they uh, were on the bench in that last group game against Samoa. Lovely touch by Angelina Poida, but Cook Islands quickly on top of that. Pushed up on the line as uh, Evelyn Kevick tussling away. Nelly Vuti, a player of the match against New Caledonia, Vuti. New Caledonia defeated Vanuatu four goals to one in Group A. Vanuatu chance to restore some Melanesian pride in this OFC Under-19 uh, Championship. Tukatism knows a lot about Suva because he was uh, the coach of the Suva Football Club back in 2018. Cook Islands go on a take. It'll be Tuariki. Now she gives it back. Tuariki scored the goal against the Solomon Islands. Their only goal in the championship. As the Cook Islands go on a take on that right flank. That's Tuariki. 
trying to turn there. No trouble for Manuela Bong, who's uh, got a place back in this uh, side after she uh, got a knock and uh, had to sit out the second uh, group game. Play on, good call by the referee. Kavik cut off well that time by Victoria Fatiaki. Player of the match against the, the Solomon Islands. Wonderful touch. That's class from Daniela Poila. Now that's some class from Vanuatu Poida. That's Anna Lop. Look at that, Elena Arovoa. Mark that name, mark that number. 10 for Vanuatu. From downfield. And that's uh, whacked away by Tia Strickland, the captain. They all played straight through. Foot race. And coming through that time, the goalkeeper, Kimberly Uini. Vanuatu keeping the pressure on. Kalsrap. Joala Evok, head coach for Vanuatu. Arovoa tussling. Nelly Voti gets the first shot in from far off. What a start to this game. Absolutely. Winnie, um, Kimberly Winnie with the ball. You know, she comes in with that experience from the Nations Cup. She hasn't really been tested in this uh, tournament but definitely it's panning out differently in this match and the player to watch Aravua the last match she scored 18 seconds will be one of the fastest goals in this tournament Nelly Futi got a header in also got a goal to her name now played out by Katuke Vuri in defense for Vanuatu. Cook Highlands. Even battle. So far, Lop tussling. Good turn by Tuariki. Cook Highlands. Building play on the, that far side. Vuti. Lop, the casual there. Caltech. And uh, Cook Island straight into Manuela Bong. Well, Onika Kaltek went out injured in a group match. And she's got an early knock already. So uh, let's see how long she will last. Here's Kalsrap for Vanuatu. Casual cut off that time by Katuke. And uh, good work by Vanuatu. Stretching out to block that. Tuariki beaten well. Lop ball, a losing position again. Vanuatu getting it forward. Hello to everyone in Port Villa and surrounding villages. Also Santo, Luganville, and uh, my favorite village, Araka Village. Whenever there's a big game that Vanuatu plays, I was told that they bring the TV set out in the front uh, yard of the village and they get around and watch that game. And I'm sure they're doing that. So hello to everyone in Arako. That's the village of the uh, star, Brian Caltech and his cousin, Onika Caltech, is playing for Vanuatu here. This young Taya, 15 years of age, delivered a brilliant corner against the Solomon Islands that Tuariki put it into the goal. Taya flows that well. Tassel, it's there. Cook Islands are oh, good work by the Vanuatu defense. Yes, Jen Taya, she's their set piece uh, expert. Just couldn't connect with her forward pack there in the uh, penalty area. It was flooded by the yellow jerseys.
You see her floating the uh, free kick. A challenge coming in from the Vanuatu side. And cleared out on the touchline. Now Vanuatu, quite lucky there. Kevik had come through with the challenge. I'm just lucky that the match officials are closer to the action. Didn't see it, uh, didn't see anything uh, more than just play on. And uh, this is Cook Islands Victoria Fatiaki. Play of the match uh, against the Solomon. She's good. Just a slight knock, but all good. We'll have uh, the throw. Cook Islands. So Fatiaki has to come off. Now Esther David. On the right edge. Vira Lolokowai swings that well. The target was Poida. Vira Lolokowai gets it again. Now playing that forward and no one there for Vanuatu Cook Islands will wait as Kimberly Uini wasting no time gets across there quickly uh, Uini played for the Cook Islands in the uh, OFC Women's Nations Cup last year held in Suva which was won by Papua New Guinea over Fiji in a pulsating final Keltek Kevik cut off well by the Cook Islands but getting back Lop her work rate unmatched Keltek saw the space Oh, I nearly got it on target that time. Mapu. Kevin at the back there now. Cook Islands. Touched by Celtic. Lop. Vanuatu shifting it on the left, playing the through ball. It's a Leo Di Kalsrap. Leaving it behind. There's two Ariki just thumping it out of the field of play. Bird's eye view for the coach. Just checking out, trying to. Uh, get instructions to his players now Vanuatu out of war challenge there but uh, Kimberly Uini up to it quickly Uti Kevin gets it for uh, Vanuatu bit casual Good work by Caltech. And a lop wins it in the middle. Walker for Kalsrep. They work it on the left edge again through ball. That was uh, meant for Aruvoa, but the defense of Cook Islands working well. And the Cook Islands know that the likes of uh, Poida and uh, Aruvua are dangerous. So they can't make any mistakes in the defense area. Vera Lolokowai just didn't work for her that time, but Aruvua comes back to win it. Now Caltech floats there. Poida gets up. The daughter of uh, that exceptional footballer 
Moj spojda. Kukai Lenz. Clearing the control wasn't good. That'll tidy nerves a little bit. Kevik. Vira Lolokowai. Now, can she deliver the cross? Kimberly Oweni having to punch that. And well, that was a good opportunity. Angeline Poida. Vanuatu now that that was an opportunity. Lowen into the space, finding Valerie. Great lob ball, forcing Winnie to come out and punch the ball away. And she was off her line. Great vision there by Poida, just not the accuracy. Oh, her reaction, missing the opportunity. Kailens getting the shot in there. Manuela Bong has it covered, no trouble. Angelina Poida. That was uh, a great chance for Vanuatu. And Cook Islands will have to watch out. Long ball over the top of the defense. It's a foot race. And Cook Islands playing it safe. Roru getting back there quickly. I haven't seen the uh, Cook Island side being tested in this tournament until this match. And that comes from the uh, nippy and skillful Vanuatu side. Aruvoa turning there. Oh, here's trouble. Uh, Vira Lolokoi. Lolo Vanuatu bench now that they've got the upper hand. The captain lays it up for uh, Viralala Kowai, who had a better angle. Powerful right footer, just far wide on the right. Decent clearance that time by Kimberly Uini as Vanuatu will pick up with the throw. Vira Lolo Kowai. Vanuatu keep the pressure on. Poila in defense. Now here's Kevik. Looks to get it into the box. Poida wasn't uh, anticipating that. Now Kevik once again. Cook Islands. Keltec. Keltec hobbling. That right uh, ankle is a water here. Uh, Arovoa uh, tried to uh, push that ahead for Poida. Now turning Cook Islands. David. Oh, Vanuatu win this. Kals rap. Plays the through ball. Aruvoa. Straight into Uini. Yes, the goalkeeper, um, Kimberly Uini, she, she was a star in that uh, Nations Cup tournament. You know, and to get past her, she comes with that experience. She sets her defense well. You have to get closer and take a, you know, po more powerful shot uh, into the penalty area. So Vanuatu from that opposite side. And Nelly Vuti doing well. She's been one of the standout defenders with a work rate. And there, that's the work rate I'm talking about. She gets back there to tidy it up for the Vanuatu side. Vira Lolokowai in the tussle. Straight down, Kevik wins it for Vanuatu. Plays it up, here's Aruvoa. Good work by Aruvoa. Oh, she was trying to push that through, but still, there's opportunity there. And Oini will get it. Oweni, Cook Islands will have to watch out for the skillful Vanuatu team. The likes of Kalsrep, Woka, Poida, Aruvua, Vera Lolokoi, Kaltek, and Lop. 
Some excellent touches from that them Fatiaki. Went off on the side. David. Shadowed by the Vanuatu defense, and the Vanuatu defense will take this Vira Lolo Kawai. Uh, gets it to the wrong person. Cook Islands. David. Fatiaki. They've lost ground, but now let's see Poila push, pushes that over the top. Vuti. Cut off again by David. Cook Islands. Through ball. The defense uh, stands tall again for Vanuatu Navira Lolokowai. Getting back there quickly was Katuke. Avuti gets back for uh, Vanuatu. Where's that clearance off on the side? Interesting though, they come in with the 4 4 2 formation, Cook Islands, but as they go into defense, you know, they pull that extra um, midfield player and that leaves one player up from Mapu. When they clear the ball and they pump it up, from, she is isolated and that is the challenge for them. A goal kick for one or two. Ball to take it. Work it on that left side. It's Kalsrap. Anna Lop. Anna Lop plays the through ball. Cut off the time by the Cook Islands. Was Teroa Aroru. Now into the middle. Good work by Nelly Vuti at the back. She's the stone wall defender. Oh, free kick to the Cook Islands. The challenge for the ball is pushing into the Cook Island side. Ricky Kia, let's see what they can. Can they capitalize on this? Can they send it into the penalty area and improve their chances? At right, Caltech, a little hard done that time, but uh, floating free kick and Manuela Bong, it's into the goal. Jantaya. Mistake by the goalkeeper. In the 20th minute of play, and the Cook Islands in front. Taya with a long free kick. Goal for the Cook Islands. Comes in that powerful drive, lobs it over the defense. Should have been an easy one for Manuela Bong. You no know, coming to collect the ball. She let it bounce, and it did bounce well over her head. The first goal for Cook Islands, the first goal in this match. Well, mistake by Vanuatu in the Cook Islands in this fourth quarter final. Now in front, 1 0. Jantaya with the goal. How will Cook Island, Cook, uh, how will Vanuatu, uh, apologies, regroup and come back in this? Vira Lolo Kawai straight away. Vanuatu go on a take. And Kimberly Oweni can't be beaten like that. Pumping clearance, Nelly Vuti. Well, Onika Caltech. It's Victoria Fatiaki. Got a knock earlier, but she looks like she's recovered from that well. Cook Islands gain territory on this side Fatiaki Tuariki got uh, the slicing header still throw for the Cook Islands Argentaya delivered that corner against the Solomon Islands that Tuariki scored and here Jentaya 
gets the opening goal. Katuke, good work. Cook Islands. Kevik. Lop. Arovo are trying to reach up there, but the Cook Islands defense uh, keeping this in check. Kalsrap. Kalsrap. Trying to find Arovoa up front. Vuti. Gets underneath that. Now Kevik. Vira Lolokowai. Looking for Poida. Again, good work in defense that time by Daniela Poila. Now Ivana Vuri. Oh, Cook Islands will get up to that. Pushing it up. Mapu. On the right flank. Mapu gets it back, but uh, control not good on that occasion. Lop. Kals rep. Poida, the captain. Vanuatu look to hit on the right flank and uh, Vera Lolokowai easily beaten by Fatiaki. Oh, Vera Lolokowai takes it back. Arovoa. Shifting it. Vera Lolokowai and straight into Kimberly Uini. Well placed. Shows the experience in the gold mouth. Absolutely. And we see the defense for the Cook Islands as they fall back. They form from 4 4 2. They have that five formation at the back that we've uh, seen them do in the uh, pool matches. And with uh, Vanuatu, you know, we know their strength. They're tactical. They're good with uh, the ball. They're skillful. They need to keep the balls on the ground, especially against uh, the defensive Cook Island side who has the height advantage as they go into attack. Manuela Bong. Well, she'll have nightmares if uh, they lose by the single goal. Because she should have taken that one. Just that wee bit lapse of concentration. High ball over the top. Here's Arovoa. Look at her. Magical. Oh, beauty. Caltech. Lop. Great movement with the ball. Vira Lolokowai. Let's see what Vanuatu can cook long over the top. And Kimberly Oweni is there. Vanuatu, they work cut out in this one. Cook Islands have settled in now. Vira Lolokowai winning that away. And uh, Cook Islands coming back to take that. To Ariki. Roru floating that over the top. Nelly Vuti gets back for uh, Vanuatu. Kalsrap. On the left. Poida gets it. I couldn't uh, knock that on for Aruvoa. Lop slows it down, then uh, in the tussle now gets it away to Vira Lolokowai, floating it over the top. Kimberly Uwini for the Cook Islands, no trouble for the keeper or the Cook Islands gold mouth. Good control, the shielding 
the ball, waiting for uh, opportunity and uh, waiting for support. And now the through ball. And Vanuatu. Off the toes of the Vanuatu player will be a throw. For the Cook Islands. It was off Ivana Vuri. Fatiaki. Throw in specialist on this side. Jantaya. Fatiaki. Playing it short on the line, keeping it in this left pocket. And that will be a goal kick to Vanuatu. So. Cook Islands building play on this uh, left flank, but not able to uh, capitalize. You know, interestingly, we've seen Vanuatu, they build a play from the defensive side. They have good structure in football. They come through the midfield, but unfortunately, they're trying to pump the ball. You know, with this wave of wave attacks, they're pumping the ball. Uh, you know, those aerial ball, it's not really their strength. And it's better if they keep it down on the ground and try and find those pockets. They're fast at the mark. And they can do the damage that way. Now tussling in the middle. That's Jentaya, the goal scorer. Getting it out for Aua. Matilda Aua. It's Leody Kalsrap from the Araco village. So that's a fouls update. Has been an, a good encounter so far with 29th uh, in the 29th minute of play now. Just two fouls and uh, both against Vanuatu's name. A good free flow of play allowed by the referee in this one. Just like uh, Mr. Kaufusi in the earlier game where New Zealand outclass the Solomon Islands 19 goals to nil. Tikanololokowai, Jantaya gets it over the top. Vuti's uh, underneath that good work. That was Kalsrep, sorry. Now Poida racing on the other side. The tussle there, Rebina Walker. Look at the touches by this Vanuatu girls. Poida. So confident. Elina Arovoa trying to chase up there, but uh, clearance is good. And Vanuatu will have to rebuild. Kevik. Elina Aruvoa. Oh. Whenever she comes in contact with the ball, you expect something spectacular. Now. Caltech. Lost it. Katuke. That's David. Aua. And uh, Vanuatu will get the throw on the other side. Half an hour of play gone. And uh, Cook Islands leading 1 0 with that goal from Gentaya. Came 10 and a half minutes ago. Now over the top. Elena Arovoa, she gets the header, and that is one all magic from the 16 year old Elena Arovoa. What a goal! And Vanuatu is back in this one. Absolutely. Great finish coming in from Arovoa. You saw Kimberly stepping out of her line, just heading that ball, getting the bounce right. Kimberly's hustled back, trying to uh, collect the ball, but was too late. It went to the back of the net, and a great equalizer there from Aruvua. Absolutely brilliant. Elena Aruvua getting the better of that one over the goalkeeper, Kimberly Uwini, who had come off her mark. And got beaten by a very skillful Elena Aruvoa. 
who will make my top 11 of the OFC under 19 championship any day. Elina Arevoa now registers the third goal under her name in this tournament. From Ambai Village. Well, here she is again, Elina Arovoa. Whenever she comes in contact with the ball, you expect magic. And that time, she delivered a magical goal. What else she can do? Now, here's Vila Lolokawai. Played up Vanuatu. Vila Lolokawai, it hits the post. Elina Arovoa following up. Oh, my goodness. Vanuatu. They're definitely on fire. Good lob ball coming in from Vira Lokoi. The Awili coming out, it bounced off. Uh, and then Aravua trying to finish it off, just not on target, couldn't find her mark. But they're definitely upping the game here, adding pressure to the Cook Island side. They've picked up. It's like they've shifted the gear. That equalizing goal has certainly lifted this Vanuatu side and Cook Islands will now need to settle and get back into this. They're dancing at the tune of the Vanuatu girls at the moment. Kimberly Uwini. She was beaten from that Vila Lolokawai shot. Post saved the Cook Islands. And Cook Islands in the middle. That's David. And Vanuatu got through there. Now Taya. Jan Taya. And big attempt from uh, the Cook Islands. No trouble. Under 11 minutes to play in normal time in this first half. A goal each. Taya for the Cook Islands and uh, Aruvoa Magic in the 31st to equalize. Now played up. Pira Lolokawai. Tuariki in the way now. Here's Caltech. Blocked by Vanuatu, Cook Islands. Floated up, Vuti. Kavik. Couldn't get it infield for Poida. Now it's David. Taya. Katuke. In the tussle with Rabina Walker. Turning that well, Aowa. For Roru. Doesn't work for the Cook Islands on that right side. Kalsrep. Oh, Lop somehow got uh, the header there. They'll get another throw on the other side. Vanuatu fighting back in this one. After they were down 1 0 in the 20th minute from a Jantaya long range free kick. Okay, then that's David. It's back there for Taya. Aua pushed up. Vanuatu in the way. Now played up. Good work. Here's Mapu for the Cook Islands on the right foot. Pulls it back. Tussling with Nelly Vuti. And Vuti wins that battle. Lop for Vanuatu. Still Lop. Did well to get a defense to come up. And then that final pass doesn't work. Fatiaki. Ricky in the way. And 
Vanuatu. A little bit casual at the back, but uh, Ivan Avuri just managing to do the job. Fatiaki. In Vanuatu. It's Hevelin Kavik. Fatiaki is. Uh, Cook Islands keep the pressure on. Vanuatu trying to get through there. Good work by Vira Lolo Kawai. Gets away from Fatiaki. Poida. Lovely work by Poida. And then in the way was Fatiaki. Amazing to see the skill level that this uh, Vanuatu side have. You know that throw doesn't work. Paul is ruled by Mr. Martin of Tahiti. Patiaki. Panuatu played up. Aruvoa waiting for it. That's Cook Islands. Ah, Aruvoa. Look at that. Ah, oh, skills, but just lucky for the Cook Island steam there. And now one away by Kalsram. Here come Vanuatu. Poida. Another good touch by the captain, Angelina Poida. Uh, Cook Island's uh, defense uh, getting back well. That's Katuke for David. Challenge from uh, Lop on that right uh, side, Cook Islands. Not able to string that long ball in front. Now, Walker. David. Cook Islands now put to the deck by Vanuatu. Oh, oh got the pass wrong to Wariki. Ali Vuti trying to uh, get a foot there, did uh, just enough. Walker in the challenge. Lop, good work. Aruvoa uh, just got that first touch right, tried to push it through, but didn't work. Cook Islands surely know if they allow Poida or they allow Aruvoa to move, they could be in trouble. Here's Aruvoa. Turns, uh, didn't get that uh, to the right person. Mapu to Ariki. Cook Islands, uh, Katuke looking for it. But uh, Vanuatu bring it away. Now Vira Lolo Kawai. Lolo Kawai turns away well, away from Fatiaki. Floats it over the top, no one there. They need to change that tactic. Absolutely. I feel like both teams, uh, you know, they're, yes, they want to score, they want to move up, but as they go into attack, there's only uh, an isolated player. They're pretty much playing the defensive structure. Tia Strickland, the captain, is working overtime in central defense for the Cook Islands. Vira Lolo Kawai. Kevek sends it through. Now Vanuatu. I believe it will come down to the midfield players and their ability to uh, move up and support the forward, uh, you know, as they transition into attack. Evelyn Kavik. Cook Islands get it at the back. Yeah. Soldiering on Onika Kaltek. I don't think she's 100%. Uh, touch from Vila Lolo Kawai, not happy. Cook Islands. Just under four minutes to play. A touch there goes wrong as Caltech plays it in field. Walker! And no trouble for Kimberly Uini. Maybe not the best option. She had space forward, you know, to take it closer. She had um, support with the captain on the right, Poida. But just taking the shot out wide. Almost 25 yards against uh, Kimbaluini. It would be difficult. David. 
Now into the middle. Poida. Vira Lolokowai. Plays it up, searching for Poida. But good work in defense by the Cook Islands. And coming across to cut that off was Jantaya. Just 15 years of age. Playing at this level. That's great for Cook Islands uh, football. Kavik couldn't control that. There's a couple of 15-year-olds uh, in the Cook Island side. The youngest player, Tara Mitchell, is on the bench. It'll be interesting. They most, you know, we witnessed that with other teams in this competition, and we'll probably see them in the uh, under-16 OFC playoff in Tahiti later in the uh, year. Good work by Lop, but now. It's a foul and Lop comes back straight away and embraces Esther David to say sorry. Really nice to see the fair play. We've seen it uh, throughout this competition. He comes in with a shoulder charge and a Lop. Jantaya behind this one. Caltech got uh, underneath that. Now Lop. Ah, trying to oh, got it to Aruvoa. Now as Poida pushing that forward. Cook Islands reading that well. Poida now Vanuatu. Good turn, Walker. Kalsrap. Gets the cross, but no one there inside the box. And Cook Islands having no trouble in getting that away. Halsrap from that opposite side, lop a little bit casual. And uh, it's Tuariki tussling. Uh, couldn't work that through. Takes it out. HFC Bank Stadium, OFC Under-19 Women's Championship. We're into the business end of the competition. Quarterfinals, fourth and final one underway. And when we finish tonight, we will have two more match days to go. Semi-finals on Wednesday. And then... The final on Saturday. Vanuatu getting a free kick in a very handy position. Let's see whether they can capitalize on this. We know they've, they have uh, players that have the capability to shoot from this distance. One minute added on in the first half. The challenge coming in from Penina Katuke. On that sensational player, Elina Aruvua. Kimberly Oweni comes away to take that. Good work by the goalkeeper. Vanuatu in the middle. Not getting the first touch. But now Vira Lolo Kauai racing up for that. And off uh, Poila, the Australian-born player in the Cook Island side, number 21, Daniela Poila. Kevick, as she touches that, referee Mr. Martin says, we've seen 45 minutes of play. We go to the halftime break. It's a goal each and the fourth and last quarterfinal in this OFC Women's Under-19 Championship. The Cook Islands won. Vanuatu won. Well, fourth and the final quarterfinal of the OFC Women's Under-19 Championship. Cook Islands who finished top of Group C against Vanuatu in front of a 
Good crowd support for Vanuatu. And uh, Vanuatu won the toss, elected for the side to play from the left. It was uh, Cook Islands that kicked off. And interesting. As Vera Lolo Kawai got the cross in and Angelina Poida, that was an opportunity. Jan Taya in the 20th minute of play. Mistake by Manuela Bong, the goalkeeper. And Taya, that long range free kick. And uh, into the goal. Well, she didn't judge the bounce well. And joy for Cook Islands. And then over the top, Elena Arovoa. Magical touch with the header and she guided that ball into the net pointing it saying get into that net Watch that wonderful Elena Arovoa over Kimberly Uini And that Locked this game up At one all Vanuatu crowd certainly loving that Vera Lolokawai Crashing it against the post and Aruvua getting up there, but couldn't get it into the net. Well, just looking at uh, the stats, one all at half time. You can see Vanuatu, eight shots on target. They have been working hard, but just not able to get the goal. More than one half time in this fourth and final quarter final of the OFC Under 19 Women's Championship. In Suva, it's the Cook Islands in Vanuatu locked at one all.
Welcome back to the HFC Bank Stadium, Suva, Fiji Islands. We're at the halftime break of the fourth and final quarterfinal match. A goal each. Gentaya for the Cook Islands. Elida Aruvua of Vanuatu. And both teams locked one all. Cook Islands out there, Vanuatu coming out of the sheds now. Will be underway soon. A big second half to come. Finau and Lisa, your take as we get ready for the second half. Well, the conceded goal uh, from uh, Cook Islands, the first goal. I think that was uh, pretty much an error coming from the goalkeeper, but a quick turnaround in the 31st minute by none else than um, Elina Ara Arawuha has made the game gone to a next level. It's like changing, changing the gear. But we're looking forward to uh, another second half filled with a lot of excitement and uh, brilliance in football. Yes, Vanuatu coming here as a third from the uh, Pool A. They've got nothing to lose and they're playing that way. As uh, you mentioned, you know, Aravoa with her skills, with her speed, she definitely pun punished the Cook Island side. Uh, lack of concentration there by Tia Rororu. She quickly sneaked through and was able to get the ball past Winnie, who has been steady in defense. Cook Islands still holding the defensive line. It's a good crowd support for uh, Vanuatu. I'm sure family members in Vanuatu will be happy to see some of those faces of the students here in Suva enjoying football. We're underway in the second half. It's the Cook Islands 1 in Vanuatu 1. Jen Taya and Elina Aruvu goals in the first half. It's uh, cleared away as uh, Aua at the back. Keeping a close eye on Rabina Walker. Kalsrap, no. Says go back on the mark. Tahitian, Mr. Martin. Assisted by uh, two of his fellow uh, Tahitians. Here's Elena Aruvoa. Aruvoa. Piwa class. Gets it into the middle. No one there. Kukailens on the right, pushing it back. Now Kukailens looking for the long drive. Not underneath that. Chantaya. Kukailens trying to get over the Vanuatu defense that time. And good work. Here's Vera Lolokowai over running that. Now Fatiaki. Tuariki. Katuke. Holding that on the carpet. That looks good. Now trying to turn is Mapu. Still Mapu. Here's David. Kalsrap. Oh, she loses the position. <laughs> Mapu. A little dance and then Taya. Bong is there, no mistake this time. Gentaya, the only goal for Cook Islands in the first half. Second player to score for the Cook Islands in this championship. Tuariki is the other one. She scored against the Solomon Islands. Taya pushes it up. Oh, put that over the top. Oh, oh Kalsrap. Too casual that time. Wonderful work by Mapu, but Walker goes back to tidy that up for Vanuatu. Now Walker. A lop. Looking for support. Shifting it to the right edge. Kavik. Good touch. Vila Lolo Lop. 
It's Caltech who gets up there quickly. Uh oh, Onika Caltech gets in the clear. Can she get the cross in? Oh, tried the shot herself. With the time coming in from Caltech, as she took it out and found the space on the edge of the box. You had support uh, in, the, in the penalty area, but opted to uh, take it on her own. Just a bit too far wide. Caltech. Uh, Vera Lolo Kawai didn't work there. She had to go back and tidy that. Now Kavik trying to swing that in. Arovoa gets up there. Poida. And again, Cook Islands defense standing tall. Now Kalsrat getting away from Katuke. Kalsrat. Arovoa. On the left, edge is Walker. And that will be a goal kick, so smart play by Matilda Owa of the Cook Islands. Pressure coming there from Rebina Walker. Absolutely, we've seen the um, change in gear from the Vanuatu side as they come into the penalty area. Again, the, uh, the Cook Islands side, you know, standing their ground with the defense, looking to Vanuatu to, you know, probably be more aggressive in that penalty area. David trying to uh, release that one. Caltech. Viralolo Kowai. Again, Poida beaten by Poila. Now Kevik. Viralolo Kowai. Lolo Kowai gets it in. Oh, Arovoa. Boy, she was there, but Kimberly Oweni did well. Wonderful delivery. Off that cross, but it just didn't work. Now, Kalsrap. Point out with the touch. Vira Lolokowai in the tussle. Fatiaki. They seem more settled, uh, have settled more, uh, much better in the second half. Vanuatu. Uh, good work, Vira Lolokowai. Good work. Again with that touch. Now, Walker. Vira Lolokowai, Poida the skipper. Poida, too many players there, Cook Islands. Oh, Vira Lolokowai does well. Once again, the control letting them go. And then Poida. The pressure, Caltech. Islands just not able to uh, win position in the midfield and that's where the trouble is for them at the moment Gentaya they need to uh, get it in the midfield and supply some quality ball up front if they are to do any damage Poida Vira Lolokowai Kevik on the far end now Vera Lolokowai oh the touch is good but getting back there quickly was Tuariki to cut off any threat as Vanuatu keep the pressure on Vera Lolokowai referee says play on no nothing wrong with that Island seems to be comfortable just falling back and defending, but it can be dangerous against this Vanuatu side. Vanuatu bench. Look on as uh, they see their side pressing through. And uh, no, that's a goal kick. Kimberly Uini. As you mentioned earlier, she hasn't been uh, really challenged in this competition, but she's been kept busy throughout this match. Now David for uh, Cook Islands, so that through ball didn't work. Now Lop cut, cut that well, and then she loses position, trying to uh, win it again. Katuke, oh, Lop wins it away from Katuke. 
again releasing that through ball and uh, Pira Lolo Kauai couldn't get up to it. Now Kalsrap for Vanuatu. Kalsrap gets up to that. Now they've got some space. Which way? Now Walker has got it. Elina Aruvua makes the run. And uh, Walker couldn't deliver it. Nelly Vuti. Held by Kalsrap. Good work by Kalsrap. Now Elina Aruvua. And coming through strong that time, Gentaya. Kalsrep. Touch there. Kalsrep. Ah, oh, the back heel there for Kalsrep. Good work. And that's it. Uh, Alwa not giving the Vanuatu a taker to uh, make any uh, Wolf we did that now cleared away not too far Angelina Poida puts it on her right foot the captain Poida Great skills coming in from her. She won the challenge. Plays it out to her on the right side. Tried to um, make it an attempt. Well, we're probably going to see a tactical change. First one of the game to come through from the Cook Islands. Nelly Vuti gets back. Great work in defense by Nelly Vuti. In the challenge of uh, Heratea Mapu. Elena Arovoa, the crowd sends something magical. Here she is, floats that wonderful Lee opportunity here for Poida. Boy, Elena Arovoa, the construction of that, absolutely brilliant. Definitely the mastermind. She knew she didn't have the space out on the left, took it in, looked up, saw her captain. Place it be behind the uh, Cook Islands defense. Unfortunately for Poeta, the captain just wasn't able to nip that in and it sailed over the crossbar. So Esther David is off for the Cook Islands and uh, Adriana Helzer is in. Nine out, eight in. So first tactical change coming from uh, the coaching staff in Tukatissam has uh, thrown his first card. Arovoa couldn't get the touch he wanted. Cook Islands tussling there. A Caltech in the way for Vanuatu, but good work by... Uh, oh, here's the new player. Helza, first touch is a uh, good touch. Oh, Vuti beaten by Katuke. Kevik will tidy it up for Vanuatu on the far side. 11 and a half minutes of play gone in the second half. Will someone find the opening and pull away from the other? Or are we going to go into extra time? It'll be interesting as the uh, game progresses, you know, whether fitness will be a component to consider. We've seen some teams buckle here in the tournament as we progress towards the 90th minute. That's one by Angelina Poida, Vanuatu applying the pressure. Good work by Poida. Didn't have any support. Now in the middle, Anna Lop. Lop. Vira Lolokowai, Poida, the skipper, trying to get away from Poila, but good defense by Daniela Poila. The pressure remains on the Cook Islands. Vira Lolokowai, can she get it in now? That had run over the goal line, will be a goal kick for the Cook Islands. 
Valerie Vera Lolokoi. You saw the space, you played it out. Tried to get it, and she, uh, you know, played into her um, Aravua. Unfortunately, it left the field of play for a goal kick to Cook Islands. And Lop. One away now, Walker trying hard, but uh, it's Kelsrep that uh, tidies it up. <laughs> Play on, says the referee. She was hoping she'll get a free kick. Vera Lolokowai. Lolokowai. Arovoa, the dummy. Walker on the left. And playing it for Arovoa there off the defense. What a classy player is Elena Arovoa, Lisa. Yes, she has held on to that class right from the get-go in this competition. She was outstanding right from her first match. And uh, she's absolutely done that and showed that in this quarter-final match. Vori Kavik. Wonderful touch. Vera Lolokowai. Lop Caltech. Sorry, played that through. And Cook Islands uh, get it away. Free kick comes this time. Havlin Kevick. Challenge coming in from Fatiaki on Kevick. A handy free kick position here for Vanuatu. They've been playing the, um, their game much better here in the second half, keeping to their game plan. We can see the coach. Let's see what Vanuatu can do here. Caltech. No trouble. You get opportunities like that, you need to make it count. On the hour mark. Goals in the first half. On the... In uh, the 20th minute. Gentaya free kick. Beat Manuela Bong in the Vanuatu goal. And then in the 31st minute, Elina Aruvoa timed her run, a classy header over the top of uh, Cook Island's uh, goalkeeper Kimberly Uini. And that's how they rested one all at half time. And now, 16th minute in the second half, no change to that half time score. Gentaya got that away now. Cook Islands. How's that? One or two coming back to uh, put that out. Rebina Walker. a kick on Kalsrep by Jen Taya and uh, she needed uh, some time to uh, pick herself up Ow, uh, well, well placed underneath that the defense of Vanuatu and uh, Cook Islands Tiaki getting one shot in for the Cook Islands. Vanuatu have held the advantage in the second half. Hauser does well, turned. Looking out for her strikers, Kalsrap at the back. Adriana Hauser. Now Kalsrep. Vanuatu. Boka. Chentaya for the Cook Islands. Vera Lolokowai. Floats one over the top. The Cook Islands defense well placed. Now in the middle. 
and a lock. Lock does well. Caltech losing that. Gentaya. Two ball and that will run away straight to Manuela Bong. Nelly Vuti. Touch from Elina Arovoa. Gets away. Cook Islands. Oh, lovely diving header. Now Kelsrap. Oh, she get, loses possession. Here's Mapu for the Cook Islands. Still Mapu. And Kalsrep gets back. Good work by the defender. She lost it. And then she went back. Kalsa tried to get to that, but uh, good work. Racing back in defense that time. Woka. Corner kick for uh, the Cook Islands. So the Cook Islands will remember how Gentaya delivered the corner from the same spot against the Solomon Islands in their group match, which uh, they won 1 0. Tuka Tesson can't see this one. Gentaya. 20th minute of play, second half, the header goes in, and well, the goal is there from Teanoa Roru. Gentaya delivers the corner, 20th minute of play in the second half, and uh, the Cook Islands go in front, two goals to one. Gentaya, yes, again, the uh, special uh, specialist, sending it there, just be in front of the... Uh, Vanuatu defense giving the opportunity there for their road roll row to head it in. An amazing uh, cross coming in from her. Great finish from Roro. Teroa Roro gets the second goal and the Cook Islands lead. Jen Taya scored the first goal, delivers a brilliant corner that produces the second goal in the Cook Islands. My word, they are in front of Vanuatu. And Vanuatu with so much of territory and position advantage in the second half, they will now have to work hard. Absolutely. They came into the second half, they had uh, more possession in here in the 65th uh, minute. But, you know, it's, the, it's not the chances that you get, it's how you convert it. And Cook Islands is definitely punished. Them. Vera Lolokowai, they come across the go face of the goal that time. No trouble for Kimberly Uweni. She says, I had it covered. No worry. Well, Vanuatu couldn't negotiate that set piece corner. Cook Islands punished the Vanuatu defense. It's interesting just to see before that when the, the corner was about to be taken. Cook Atisim couldn't, didn't want to see that way. Boy, that... Uh, corner same way they did it against the Solomon Islands from the same spot Gentaya delivery we've seen a lot of the teams you know professional teams they take those set pieces the free kicks near the penalty area the corner kicks and they convert it into something great and Cook Islands have definitely done that in this tournament Manuela Bong will we see the urgency from this Vanuatu side to try and get back into the game they need two goals to win this now or one at least to push this into extra time who knows Poilai and Strickland have been good in defense 
as Vera Lolokoi got the touch and uh, cleared again. Tia Strickland, the captain, and Daniela Poila have been good in defense for the Cook Islands. Absolutely, and the Vanuatu side will have to dig deep. Uh, Cook Islands has been known for their defense in this tournament. They've been steady, they've been reading play well. And with a keeper like Kim Luini, with the experience, she's been setting the defense, you know, with that peripheral view, speaking to her defensive line and especially the central midfielders. Kevick. Again, Cook Islands uh, get behind that. Kevick on the right uh, edge. Taya got underneath that. Wonderful touch. Hauser turns it looking for Mapu. Kalsrep for Vanuatu. Hauser. Lop wins that battle. Kavik. Cook Islands on the right flank. Playing it down the barrel. Poila. Wins it away from Angelina Poida. Vanuatu with the attacking throw. Islands get it. Interesting with the Cook Island side, you would see Andriana Hauser. You know, she comes in as a strict, uh, strategic change. Islands. Look it on that left uh, side of the field. Katuke comes back for Lop. Lop sends it along the line. Vira Lolokoi. A little bit too much power in that. Anxious moments for the bench. You know, at the end of the game, some of those players won't have any nails to bite on. That's how tough it is. And they will only hope that they'll get some chance later on to have a taste of quarterfinals footy and the OFC Under-19 Women's Championship. Pushed through again by the Cook Islands. Anuatu. Kalsrep. Nelly Vuti. How's that? Katuke making the run, but uh, Nelly Vuti. Uh, that'll run away to uh, Kimberly Uwini. He's happy to uh, pass time and kill time down at the uh, edge of the low line. underneath that one clearance by Cook Islands now Katuke trying to push that through but still there for the Cook Islands Kalsrap that's okay uh, referee good call by the referee he was playing advantage and then none work there and that goes against the Heriatea Mapu yes just a simple trip Coming in from Katuke on Kalsrep. Aowa. Tilda Aowa, she has been good today. Working hard against the likes of Kalsrep and uh, Rabina Walker. On the near sideline. Awa drills it downfield. The touch there for Hauser. Nelly Vuti in defense. Good work by Nelly Vuti. Oh, Hauser is there. Nelly Vuti does well. Mapu. Hauser. And Gentaya tries to sneak one in. 
Well, six fouls in total. Sheared evenly at the moment. Lop. In the middle, Vanuatu. Arovoa. Great. Ah, just beaten by the Cook Islands. Just let the bull get away from her. An inch ahead. Now, Puri. Ravira Lolokawai. She keeps. Oh no, it just. Throw into uh, Cook Islands. Fatiaki. Oila. Oh, one by uh, here's Arovoa. Another good touch by Arovoa. Holds it, turns and straight into Koi, uh, Uini. Class written all over that move by uh, Elena Arovoa. There's a great attempt there by Arovoa. She tried to bring it out on the left. He saw the defenders of the Cook Islands falling the same direction. He switched play. Brought it out on her right and a powerful right footer put into the hands of uh, Uini. Buti gets back. Good work by the defender. Oh, that touch doesn't work, but now Vanuatu trying to get back. Good work. Awa. Oh, still Awa. And Kalsrep goes there to uh, put the challenge on. Good. Work from Awa, she puts it in. And heck downfield, Cook Islands in the middle, shifting it well. Mapu can't control that well. Lop wins it. Oh, Poida just didn't get the touch right. Cook Islands, how's that? Keltek. Poida races up to there on the right edge for Vanuatu. Lovely touch by Angelina Poida. Ah, again, double minded there and uh, didn't work. Vanuatu win position again. Vanuatu needs to make it count. Vera Lolokoi. And that's not how they make it count. They need to get closer as they go into the defensive, uh, the attacking zone. You can see that they are outnumbered by the Cook Island side. The, the midfield will definitely need to dig deep and support play. 14 minutes of play. Left in the second half as uh, we have uh, Vanuatu to come in with the change. And uh, Onika Kaltek will come off and Vanuatu introduce Alira Nguero Kava. Onika Kaltek has been struggling. She wasn't 100%, but uh, soldiered on. Just not able to uh, work it right through. Here's Arovoa. Arovoa, oh, how did she win that? And then Awa getting there. Elena Arovoa. If there was a prize for the most skillful player in the championship, it would go to the number 10 of Vanuatu, Elena Arovoa. Absolutely. In this uh, second half, especially, you know, she's been the fox in the box there for uh, Vanuatu, keeping the Cook Island's side, alert, as she continues, you know, with her skills, with those wave and wave of attempts. Atiaki. Poila has been good in defense uh, for the Cook Islands. Oh, to try and play through again, cut off that time by Fatiaki as Cook Islands work it. 
shifting it into Awa. Walker in the way and Awa just thumbs it downfield. Vuri, Kevik will go back to tidy that up for Vanuatu. Towards that far sideline, right edge for Vanuatu. Piralolokoi trying to get up there, but uh, Gentaya in the way. Now Vanuatu with some space that turns in. Oh, Kukarin's uh, getting back there. Kalsrep gets that challenge of Katuki. Lop. Angwar Kava waiting for it, but Lop shifting it in for Kevik on that right edge for Vanuatu. Patiaki gets back and just uh, no urgency there. She just pushes it out. Throw in, no problem. Patiaki a little bit slow to get up as Vanuatu try and get the cross in. Now, Viralolo Kowai not able to uh, swing that in. And Victoria Fatiaki still not up. Hausa. Nelly Vuti. Vuti for Vanuatu. Plays the through ball and uh, Elena Arovoa was the target but just couldn't uh, get to her. And uh, Victoria Fatiaki. Well, medical treatment pulled in. I think it's cramps rather than anything more than that. Yes, absolutely. And as we have mentioned, you know, some of these, they're only 19 years old and a lot of them are way younger. And as, uh, you know, it progresses into the competition, we see her clearing the ball there. The challenge coming in from Kavik. Probably when she got injured. Well, can Vanuatu equalize? Are we going to extra time or is Cook Island going to hold on to this uh, score line? Well, Cook Islands, 13 years ago, they finished with the silver medal in the OFC Under-19 Women's Championship in 2010. Vanuatu, their best place finish, a bronze in 2015. <laughs> Vanuatu will call for a change. Kalsrep, Leody Kalsrep will make way for Zoida Nial. So, Nial number 12 in, Carl's rep number 6 out. Just under 8 minutes to play in this match. Well, the Cook Islands set up a semi-finals fixture with the Giants New Zealand on Wednesday. Or will Vanuatu hit back and push this into extra time? Nial trying to make the run. Kimberly Oweni gets it. That's what they're looking towards uh, for Vanuatu. A tactical change there. Pulling out a defense, putting in a forward player. Pumping up their chances up front. Well, this is do or die football. So, you need to throw everything in this one now. As far as Vanuatu is concerned. Matilda Awa. 
Mapu Awa gets it again. Good work by Awa, very close to the sideline. Mapu can't get away from Vuti. Nelly Vuti. Good work by the defender. Place it through now. Aruvoa. Seems a long one. Zoe Daniel was the target. Walker. Aruvoa leaves it for Walker. Place it up. Here's Aruvoa. Look at the touch on the left edge. Aruvoa swings that in and Kimberly Oweni will get it. Zoe Daniel was racing up there for Vanuatu but just not able to uh, get to that and Kimberly Oweni the keeper was good Nelly Vuti Walker played up Zoe Daniel now this time can she get a foot in there now well free kick for Vanuatu Just a few minutes into play if here for Zoe Nial. We can see the impact she's bringing here for the Vanuatu side. Coming into this game, pressuring the Cook Islands defense. Elena Arovoa to test Kimberly Oweni. Arovoa. And no trouble for Kimberly Oweni. at the back now Mapu gets up to that this is Katuke Penina Katuke good work by Katuke on the right edge Katuke no one there for the Cook Islands well the Cook Islands have tightened their defense they've got six players falling back in defense Kavik they know if they can ride the wave, they will be in the semi-finals. Panwatu inside the box it comes. Point I was up for it now. Arovoa. And no chance given by Mapu that time. Hausa now. Kailens as uh, Alira Nguero Kava that got back there for Vanuatu, the replacement player Kevik Vera Lolokawai outside. Less, less than four minutes remaining in this match, in normal time. Definitely, time is not on the side of the Vanuatu uh, squad. Fatiaki back in the game after getting treated. Vira Lolokowai. Poila. Away by Taya. Vanuatu with the throw. Hukailens. Everyone getting in the defensive third. Nelly Vuti. Still Nelly Vuti. Soy Daniel. Gets up there. Nelly Vuti. Oh. Blocked by the Cook Islands defense. Poida trying to get up there. The flag is up. Kimberly Oweni. Pushed up. Vanuatu. Time is not 
their friend at the moment. That's what's running away from Vanuatu. Lop. Beaten by Tuariki. Mapu gets up. Hergatea Mapu, born in Tahiti, playing for the Cook Islands. Vanuatu with possession on this side. Katuke as Aruvoa. Wonderful work by Aruvoa. Woka. Evelyn Kevick. Lolokawai. Kevick again. Looks to go over the defense. Roro at the back now. Lop. Again. How's that? Cook Islands have no one up front. They've fallen in defense to try and uh, hold this Vanuatu side off. How's that? Lop gets it. Vanuatu, another chance. Cut off by Mapu. Driven downfield. No one there. Manuela Bong. There's no Cook Islands player in the Vanuatu territory. Less than one minute. So it seems like their strategy is just to pump the ball and take the pressure off their defensive line. A free kick to Vanuatu. Set piece play coming for Vanuatu. Well, let's see if the Cook Islands can negotiate this. It's going to be uh, three minutes added on now. And Vanuatu have three minutes to salvage this. Game over. Send this into extra time. Elena Aruvoa and uh, Kimberly Oini gets up to that. Walker Booty over the top Cook Islands again Poida the skipper Vira Lolokowai Every chance Vanuatu gets now Is Dia over the top Poida uh, The whistle There and uh, free kick to uh, the Cook Islands We'll get played into the um, penalty area. Challenge coming in from Captain Angeline Poida. Kimberly Oini and the Cook Islands team now. They're about 90 seconds away from a semi finals uh, clash against New Zealand Walker Elena Aruhoa it's still not over flag was up offside free kick to the Cook Islands opportunity missed by Vanuatu time taken by the Cook Islands they are not in a hurry into the final minute of added time is there one special moment? Is there one magic moment for the Kuka for Vanuatu? Over the top, tried to find Elena Aruvoa. Cook Islands. Seconds away from booking a place in the semi final against New Zealand. The first semi final will be Samoa versus Fiji. The second semi final. New Zealand already there. Cook Islands seconds away from sealing their place in the top four. 
Or will Vanuatu pull this out of the fire? Vuri. Kevik in support. On that uh, right edge. And the Cook Islands have made it to uh, semi-finals in the OFC Under-19 Women's Championship. This is what it means for them to Katesam, the coach. Cook Islands defeat Vanuatu two goals to one in the final quarter-final in the OFC Women's Under-19 Championship. Our semi-finals are confirmed. It will be Samoa versus Fiji. And Tukatism's Cook Islands will take on the Giants New Zealand. They led 1-0 after 20 minutes. They were one all at halftime. And uh, it was uh, Te Aroa Roru. The star who scored the winning goal, set piece corner delivered by Jen Taya. And uh, in the second half, in the 20th minute, Cook Islands with the goal from the number 12, Tero Aroru. That's the winning goal scorer. And Cook Islands have taken this one out, two goals to one over Vanuatu. Wonderful work by the Cook Islands and great to see them coming across to greet the uh, the Vanuatu bench. Kimberly Oeni, Teo Poko Tuariki, Victoria Fatiaki. Fourth and final quarter-final of the OFC Women's Under-19 Championship. Cook Islands versus Vanuatu. Cook Islands top of Group C. Vanuatu coming in as uh, one of the best third-place teams. And uh, it was a fiery start to this one. A ding-dong battle. Vera Lolokawai Floating that in, Kimberly Uini called up for an early punch. And then Jen Taya in the 20th minute of play, her free kick not judged by Manuela Bong. And the bounce causing trouble for the keeper into the net. And that's uh, the Cook Islands in the lead after 20 minutes, 1 0. Celebration for the Cook Islands. And then in the 31st minute of play, Elena Arovoa beating the defense, her speed, the pace. And then with that header, Poida over the top. Arovoa getting up, lovely header, beating the keeper. And uh, that was beautiful. After 31 minutes, one all, Elena Arovoa locking it up, one all. Vera Lolokawai. Crashing that shot against the post. Aruvua racing up and sending it wide. One all at halftime. Taya and Aruvua goals. Cook Islands one, Vanuatu one. And then in the second half, Kimberly Uini working hard to keep it at by Poida. Had the shot. And then Jen Taya with the corner delivery and uh, Roro with a header, set piece corner from Taya, and Roro with a header. And again, the bounce causing trouble. Uh, someone else who touched it in front of the keeper. Two goals to one. Oini took that, and that's the end of it. Cook Islands, celebration for the Cook Islands into the semi finals. Two goals to one victory over Vanuatu. Well, you can see shots on target from Vanuatu, 13 to 4. And five fouls, Vanuatu and four. Cook Islands. 
But Vanuatu, you can see the domination with the shots on target, but just not finding the goals. Let's go, Trickside and uh, Lisa Osifelo will talk to uh, Vanuatu's head coach, Joella Ever. some trouble there to uh, get that uh, working but uh, we've got uh, Joella Evok standing by and uh, it's what a game this one was one all at halftime two goals to one the Cook Islands they've got a mighty game coming up against New Zealand and that will be a big tussle for now Absolutely. And as we came into this match, we mentioned, uh, you know, their defense was their strength. And it proved again in this game. But as you mentioned, the next game against uh, New Zealand, we've seen them bombard most of their opponents. Whether they are defensive line, you know, whether Winnie, uh, Kimberly Winnie will stand tall in this match, we will see in the, in the semi-finals. Well, the way New Zealand... Uh came through today in that 19 nil victory over the Solomon Islands Cook Islands with a couple of days now to uh, prepare for that game on Wednesday they know it'll be tough the so Wednesday first semi-final will feature Samoa against Fiji and then in the second semi-final this Cook Island side will take on New Zealand. You know, we, we will uh, soon hear from uh, the Vanuatu head coach as soon as we get ready. Let's, uh, let's go to Lisa Osifelo who will now talk to Joella Evok. Now I've got the Vanuatu uh, head coach with me, Avok. Well done uh, with the final match. And um, yes, your journey for the Under-19 Women's Championship has now come to an end. Just a quick recap on the match. Hey, uh, thank you. Uh, proud to take the performance for the whole team. Uh, so far, I'm not sure make it that far, but uh, happy to performance for the and coaches and all of you. Okay, inside the pool stage, you've got to manage for come up Kasim Lokota finals. And um, just overall with the competition, um, what would be your takeaway uh, after this fella, this tournament? Okay, thank you. Uh, after this tournament, we have won once go back. I think team things have to keep your market all together, to keep your market close, to work forward, to get all your the next national team. Anything you would like to say to your supporters uh, that have come out and also back home? Okay, uh, we are for team, management and all the players. Thank you so much for every support from uh, Fiji, uh, parents, federation, coaches back. Thank you so much for support. Thank you very much, Avok, and uh, well done. Thank you. Well, that's the Vanuatu head coach, Joela Avok, and Vanuatu exit uh, this uh, championship. Good crowd, support for Vanuatu. They came out uh, to uh, provide the lung power for this uh, Vanuatu uh, performance. They were there or thereabouts. They uh, had uh, so much firepower in attack. But, uh, you know, those shots that were on target just couldn't find uh, the net. And soon we will talk to uh, the winning coach. And the winning coach is none other than uh, Tukatism. Tukatism. Lisa will now talk to the head coach of the Cook Islands. 
And with me, we have the head coach of Cook Islands. Congratulations uh, to making it to the semifinals. Now, um, Cook Islands came in with a with an early uh, goal in the first half, and uh, really held on uh, all throughout. Now, what worked um, for for Cook Islands? Yeah, we we came with the game plan, and um, we start we try to play football. But um, it came to like a battle between the two teams, I, I think. And we had our chance with a free kick outside the, outside about I don't know halfway or something, and we just get that first goal. It was, it was good, yeah. And uh, now making it to the semifinals, would there be anything you would like to change in preparations for the next stage? Well, we got the big uh, New Zealand, so I guess they showed you know they'll be they'll be a big challenge for us. But we'll take that on. We'll take that on, and um, we'll see New Zealand on. Wednesday or something, or no, we play New Zealand. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, I think um, with with the achievement so far, anything you'd like to say to the supporters or the family um, and fans back at home? Yeah, the, oh, <laughs> I'm speechless right now. Um, thanks for the support, guys. Uh, just keep supporting us. The girls are in good mood at the camp. They're happy. They're enjoying every moment of this uh, tournament, and can't wait to come, come back home. Congratulations and all the very best in the semi-finals. Thank you. Well, two great games today. The third quarter-final saw New Zealand beat uh, the Solomon Islands 19-0 and then uh, champagne football in the fourth and last quarter-final where the Cook Islands, after a one-all draw at halftime, coming through in the second half to beat Vanuatu two goals uh, to one. It'll be semi-finals when we next talk to you on Wednesday afternoon from the HFC Bank Stadium in Suva. In the Lo Enfinao Vuli Vuli, I'm Satish Narayan.